What's up, Jammer Nation? I made a few videos in the past about the Lyric Graffiti X e-bike and no one was more excited than I was to buy it. No one. I remember the exact moment I received that reservation email. I'm sorry to say that I didn't move forward after my reservation of the Graffiti X and won't be making future content on this e-bike. Please let me explain why I changed my mind. Lyric Cycles was promoting an ambassador program and at the top of their webpage you read, you're already talking about Lyric to anyone who will listen, you might as well get paid for it, right? I thought, yeah, I am doing that, and submitted an application. I even went as far as sending my latest video to the co-founder of Lyric Cycles, Andy Caruso. She wasn't too fond of that video and said, It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Nah, she didn't really say that, but she did say that my ambassador application will not be approved. At this moment, I evaluated my priorities and realized I didn't need another e-bike. The modified electric XP 3.0 that I have is doing the job just fine. So I skipped the Graffiti X pre-sale. On the very last day of the pre-sale, I received a notification from Lyric Cycles stating that my ambassador account had been approved. This did little to change my mind about purchasing the Graffiti X as my decision had been made and that ship had sailed. Instead, I bought my first mirrorless camera and began making content for my media page. I won't be buying a new e-bike anytime soon, especially one that is new to the market. In an older video, I compared the Graffiti X with four other e-bikes, three of which have met unfortunate circumstances. The WoW Cyber, the Eroy Arc Hero, the Kate Kalk, and the Go Out Ori. These e-bikes were strong alternatives to the Graffiti X, but the WoW Cyber and Eroy Arc Hero were my personal favorites. I probably would be trying to track down my money if I had bought the WoW Cyber during its Indiegogo campaign. And that just adds more things to worry about on our plate. If I had bought the Arc Hero, I would be out of luck in the future should an issue arise. Keep in mind the Arc Hero is a bespoke e-bike and highly custom, meaning it'll be even more difficult to fix or get the right parts. Imagine buying the e-bike of your dreams and then the company goes out of business. I'd be devastated, bro. I've had my own issues with the modified electric XP 3.0 and I was fortunately able to fix it through trial and error. I believe building a DIY e-bike is one of the best routes you can go. I wish you all luck out there and that's all I got for you today.